appears we are going to be getting an Avengers movie. Wow, seems a little bit risky if you ask me. The film is to be directed by Joss Whedon, the director of Firefly. The Incredible Hulk, Iron Man 1, 2, and 3, Thor, and Captain America have all led to this final moment, the finale of Phase 1, as Loki comes to Earth with intent on ruling its inhabitants. Unfortunately, humanity is not ready for such an event, and all hope seems lost. But Nick Fury won't roll over that easy, and he brings together Earth's mightiest heroes, the Avengers Initiative, to fight in humanity's stead. Now, I know saying anything wrong about the Avengers is going to make you guys lose your heads, but here at Battlefront Productions, we like to keep a little bit of integrity within our reviews. Fuck, this movie was fun! Alright, let's get serious. Yes, the Avengers is a fun movie. Its action was amazing, and the characters worked off each other perfectly to create humor, sadness, and so much more. But that doesn't make it a perfect movie. In terms of plot, the Avengers is about as basic as it gets. A bad guy wants to take over the world because we haven't seen that before. Yes, as the finale for a phase, it's great, but as a standalone movie, it's really choppy. And the fact that Iron Man is set up as the main character to have the biggest arc at the end, big surprise they do that, it upset me a little, mainly because I already have a great Batman trilogy from Nolan. And let's face it, shitty Batman, sorry, Iron Man, is just not that interesting. Overall, the cast was amazing, like in the films leading up to the Avengers. Chris Evans was still the perfect cap, and his costume even got a really cool upgrade. Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man. I hate that saying, because he's a bad actor. Yes, he was meant to play that role. But only that role. Actors need to play multiple roles. Chris Hemsworth and Tom Hiddleston were still great as Thor and Loki, but seemed kind of pushed into the script. Jeremy Renner and Scarlett Johansson were both good as Hawkeye and Black Widow, but nothing spectacular. Perhaps Age of Ultron can change that, though. And we have the newbie, Mark Ruffalo, who played the Hulk, and he did a great job. I was actually a fan of Edward Norton as the Hulk, and was a little wary when I heard that Mark Ruffalo would be taking his place. But Ruffalo did the character justice, and I can't forget the man himself, Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury. But his acting speaks for itself. What? What? What ain't no country I ever heard of? They speak English and what? What? English, motherfucker! Do you speak it? There are not many Blu-rays that I buy upon release. Usually, I can wait a little bit. This, however, was not the case, and I was not disappointed. Not only was the Blu-ray quality phenomenal, but I got an experience almost as great as watching it in theaters again for my second time. Add to this great CGI and a score that makes you want to battle a Chitauri army, and you have yourself a great presentation. Why can I say that a million others haven't? The Avengers is, was, will always be a hell of a time. Watching it in theaters brought back all those childhood memories. Daddy loves you very much. Open wide. No, not those ones, no, no. Um, good ones, happy. Oh, Avengers, Avengers, yeah. Um, worth, worth every, worth every penny. If it, it, it gets an 8.5 out of 10. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and share it on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All the links for those can be found in the description below. Also, don't forget to subscribe by hitting that big button over there. And while you're at it, why not click that email checkbox? so that our videos don't get buried with all the other channels you're subscribed to. I'm Zach. And I'm Kyle. And we're, we're Battlefront, Battlefront Productions. Productions. Really? Can you meet the subscribe button bigger than us? Well, it is pretty than us. <laughs>